Bonia, Doctor Bomi and my penny of Kufuado, one might do a mind gana, and no, a fibra, ye de beniano, a man, woman, not one would do to me, a to me, cacra yapon and hodia momuno, one would do no man for a jet, one more eja padia fru woman, some, one mine eja padia, not one more fat, a busiania yon kufu, my penny John Domain, mamma say, and this year by ye, Beber Biono Ebertra say. Sani ya mana wamo e eh, eh, nam e eh, sebuwa kwanso afa ama nabaye wamo diye nyinano yebeje e eh, diye fri wamo ensem operation recover all loot eno eh, ene eh, diye maipene maama aka ese eh, waba wabaye na wadi aje wamae neja padia abenya watiso wa dr baumia edimu eh, akutini biye wamo ena eh, mkwa mbwane so aje e eh, diya momo wamo nyonko fuwa eni wamo ebusia the things we'll do in the first 120 days after we leave Independence Square on 7th January 2020. In the history of the Fourth Republic, in the first 90 days in office, we'll hold a national economic dialogue to discuss the true state of the economy and prepare a homegrown fiscal consolidation program to guide the budget. Number five. We will commence the drafting of needed legal amendments and preparation for the implementation of the 24-hour economy policy under the office of the President. Number six, we will establish a, a, an accelerated Export Development Council which I will personally chair to promote exports as part of a broader strategy for economic transformation. Number seven, we will convene a national consultative conference on education with CHAS, NAGRAT, NAT, CCT, NAPS, CETAG, Vice Chancellors Ghana, Prinkoff, Tewu, UTAG, PTAs, students, think tanks, academia, parents, and other stakeholders to build consensus on the improvement of our education sector including the free SHS. Number eight, we will scrap the following draconian taxes to alleviate hardship and ease the high cost of doing business in our first 90 days in office. One, e-levy. Two, COVID levy. Three, betting tax. Four, emissions levy. And we'll review taxes and levies on vehicles and equipment imported into the country for industrial and agricultural purposes. Nine, we'll introduce the no academic, academic fee stress policy for all first year students in public tertiary educational institutions, in universities, in technical universities, in polytechnics, colleges of education, nursing training institutions, under our no fee stress initiative. We will budget for this and the money will be given to the Student Loan Trust. It will register all the level 100 students and it will pay the money to their universities on their behalf so that they don't have to go and pay anything. It will be a grant, it will not be a loan, it will be a grant so they don't have to pay for it. Ten, we will introduce the, social the following social intervention policies. One. Free tertiary education for persons with disability. The Ghana Medical Care Trust Fund, which will be a fund that will help uh, uh, the, uh, the treatment of kidney ailments, uh, hypertension, uh, heart disease, high, high blood pressure, and all those kinds of things. We'll commence within 120 days the distribution of free sanitary parts to female students in basic and secondary schools. Eleven, we will institute inquiries or forensic audits into the following matters of public interest. One, MPP's collapse of indigenous Ghanaian banks and financial institutions at a supposed cost of 25 billion Ghana cities. We will institute an audit into the illegal printing of money by the Bank of Ghana to finance the corrupt Akufuado Biomia administration. We will in investigate the 58 million National Cathedral Scandal. 
We'll investigate the COVID-19 expenditure scandal. We'll investigate corruption scandals including the PDS, EJAPA, SML, Ambulance Fair Parks, 13th African, All African Games, Skytrain, Palubu Dam, Mass Sets, Galamse Fraud, Missing Excavators, Missing Tricycles, Illegal and Inflated Single Source Contracts, Boss Scandals, and many, 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 many others. We institute a government policy banning all political appointees and politically exposed persons from buying any state assets. We allocate seed money within 120 days for the establishment of the Women's Development Bank to support women-owned and women-led businesses. We will launch the following job, priority job creation programs in the budget. The first is Ejumaura. That is the entrepreneurial project to promote 10,000 young entrepreneurs and mentor them. The One Million Coders program will roll out a Made in Ghana agenda to promote the production and consumption of locally produced goods, particularly through leveraging of government spending power. Fifteen, we we'll review the Customs Amendment Act 2020 to scrap the law banning the importation of salvage vehicles to rescue the local automotive industry in Swami Magazine, Konkompe, Abosho Okai, and all others. 16. We will lay before Parliament a new bill to usher in a new era of government scholarship administration, which will, among others, prohibit political appointees from accessing government scholarships and eliminate political patronage, cronyism, nepotism, and corruption in the world of government scholarships. We will make the scholarships process transparent, publish the names of everybody who is given a scholarship so that the whole country will know who are getting those scholarships. 17. We will aggressively confront... That's number three. Number three is not a small position. We will aggressively confront the illegal mining menace and place a ban on illegal and new mining activities in Forest Reserve and roll out our Tree for Life and Blue Water Initiative to heal and sustainably harness the environment by turning areas and water bodies degraded by illegal mining into economic and ecological recovery hubs. 18. We will launch the Black Star Experience. Unfortunately, the paper on creative industry couldn't be read because we have run out of time. But in there, there's what we call the Black Star Experience. It's our major creative industry and tourism uh, 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 initiative. So the Black Star Experience will be launched. It's an initiative as Ghana's flagship culture, arts, creative industry, and tourism brand to transform Ghana into a preferred hub for creative industry and tourism. 19. We will commence investigative processes to purge state security agencies of all militia and vigilante elements who are causing havoc in our country. 20. We will reopen investigations into major unresolved criminal cases, including the 2020 election killings, Ayawasu West Wagombai election violence, murder of Ahmed Swale, and Silas Wulochame. 21. Will initiate a probe into the man made disaster caused by the VRA spillage from the Akosombo and Korn dams that displaced and destroyed the livelihoods of thousands of citizens in the Volta region. And we will take immediate steps to provide compensation for the victims, including those in the lower Volta, those in Oti, those in Buno East, those in the Savannah regions, and other areas that were affected by the flooding. We will carry out a shake-up. We will carry out a shake-up of all loss-making SOEs and realign them to break even and transition into profit-making. This is our social contract with the people. Our nation needs a reset. Our democracy needs a reset. Our economy needs a reset. Our governance needs a reset, and our attitudes 
need a reset. We need a government that will galvanize the efforts of all Ghanaians, irrespective of ethnicity, religion, or party affiliation. We need a government that will allow all businesses to thrive, whether owned by domestic investors or foreign investors, no matter their ethnic, religious, or partisan colors of its owner. We need to make a change. A change that will usher in a government that is responsible and accountable. We need to open up this country for business again. A lot of people ask me, you're going to find an economy in a mess. How are you going to handle all this? We're going to realign our expenditure. We're going to cut out uh, waste. We'll realign the budget so that we can create more fiscal space in order to finance these projects. We're going to use innovative methods to raise the resources so that we can finance these, uh, these programs. We're going to prioritize, strictly prioritize, and select the most important projects that will create immediate benefits for the people of